Big news in the medical world. The first new antibiotic in 30 years is being hailed as a potential paradigm shift in fighting resistance to some of the current antibiotics. This is called Taxobactin. It has been found to treat many common bacterial infections such as tuberculosis, septicemia, etc. It might be available within five years. For people who aren't aware of why this is such a big deal, and I know a lot of people are not, we've talked about it a little bit, mostly on the bonus show. Although there are over a hundred types of antibiotics, maybe even more, there are actually only a few types of antibiotics. You have the penicillin family, you have the cephalosporins, you have the marcolides, you have fluoroquinolones, sulfonamides, tetracyclines, and aminoglycosides. It's only half a dozen or so types. And you can build resistance to an entire type or, or partial resistance to an entire type by being exposed several times to one or two or three uh, individual antibiotics. And if you have a negative reaction, an adverse side effect to one antibiotic from a certain type, you may have a varying uh, severity of reactions to many of the antibiotics within that type. So while there are, it seems as though there are many antibiotics, there are really only a few kinds. And there has been significant concern, Lewis, that aside from all of the medical advancements with regard to treatment of a variety of diseases that a big uh, kind of drag down factor in terms of health going forward in the next 10, 15 and 20 years would be increased population resistance to antibiotics because no new types had been developed for 30 years. So this is pretty significant news. Yeah, that's why this is such a big deal. Uh, and I, I know I think ultimately, if you look at our, our time span, uh, as, as people in general, yeah. um, it really, and, and you look at medicine, it's really not going to take us that long to become resistant to the, those antibiotics that we're so familiar with right now. And so, you know, it's not going to end here with this one. I mean, we constantly need to be finding new ways to, to get around this. A team from Northeastern university in Boston, Massachusetts discovered a way of using an electronic chip to grow them, to grow microbes in the soil and isolate their antibiotic chemical compound, which is pretty interesting stuff and just good science news overall. And like I said, the prediction is within five years, this is a new type of antibiotic that would be available. We will see if that happens.